to Rob's Dino Service and we're here to talk about the Modus and my dream to go to Bonneville and what a dream it was to be able to go to Bonneville for the first time in my life go there break two re records and I'll lose them all in the same day can't get much more drama than that but the trip was awesome to get there and the trip home was even more so the bike that we're gonna talk about is a 2017 Modus MSTR it's a, a bike that we built here Redesign, uh, reworked the engine, cleaned up all the things in it to make it even better. It has all the products that I make on it as well. And uh, we went to Bonneville with it. We went to Bonneville and uh, I got on the bike and the best speed I could get was 159. And then the next run was 158. The third run was 157. So realizing that I'm not going anywhere, uh, getting faster, I keep getting slower, I realized that I was too big to ride this bike. I needed to find somebody smaller. So I ran into Valerie Thompson and asked her if she would be willing to ride my bike. And luckily enough, she said yes. And the best part, she went out, broke all the records the first time she went out and then continued to get faster and faster on my bike. So we broke all the records that we needed to and we tore down the engine and found out I was two cc's too big. And if you know how big two cc's is, it's not very much. So we'll go back next year with this Modus with a new another engine, all stock, and uh, hopefully proceed to smash the records again and hold them. And we're going to go out with a new company as well, Energica Electric Bikes, and we'll show you those shortly. Here's another bike. This is an MSTR from Texas that we just did a lot of upgrades to. It has our uh, forward controls. We did some... Uh, uh, ignition wires, wires, fixed a bunch of complaints that the customer had and this is on its way home. Here's a V-Rod that we're working on right now. It's got some uh, wiring issues and uh, needed to be tuned. This is my own personal victory. This is where it all started with me in developing programs to rewrite ECUs. All started with this one. Another V-Rod that came in for tuning that we just finished. We'll show you the shop a little bit. Inside the shop, we'll take a look at what we got. Here's a, another Energica. This is a brand new one that came in from uh, some accident damage that we're straightening out. Um, here's one of 200. I got a phone call from a company in Louisville, Kentucky that had one of these engines for sales for Modus. So we just picked up that to do some work on. And as you can see, we still work on Harleys. That's about the majority of our business, so we will never give this up. Uh, we got to put an engine in this. Some more Harleys for work. Customer from the UK even on that Modus that's getting some work done. A nice custom victory. We'll give you a shot of the rest of our shop. Some more Moduses, as you can see. And here's where it all gets done. All in Rob's Nano Service, where we bring all the bikes up in here and we do all the tuning that's, that's necessary. So this is some of the programs that we have. It's a very, 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 very accurate machine. Take a look at one of the brand new Eva Rebellis. This is an RS version. This is a 2022. This has 160 foot pounds of torque and 169 horsepower. This is the latest and greatest in technology. Energica is made in Milan, Italy. Uh, can't say enough about them. The quality is first rate. Uh, they've been around for many years. They come from a great racing heritage and hopefully I can help them continue that and uh, hopefully I bought them with any luck. This bike uh, has no transmission. It's turn the throttle and go. The, the top speed is uh, 150 miles an hour. Uh, zero to 60 is in yeah, two seconds and zero to 100 is a 3.5. Wow. Yeah. So I, you really can't complain. It gets it, get up and go. It has ABS track control on it as well. It has regenerative braking. It's the best of the best.